This, this morning, Secretary of Defense Ash Carter met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem. This is Carter's second day of meetings with the Israeli leadership, also scheduled to visit Jordan and Saudi Arabia. His task to try and soothe Arab and Israeli fears about Iran's nuclear program, one week after the landmark agreement that curbs Tehran's nuclear ambitions. Netanyahu strongly criticized the deal, calling it a mistake of historic proportions. For more on this, I'm joined by NBC's Eamon Mokheldin. Eamon, good morning. Hey, good morning. So Ash Carter says he's not trying to change Israel's stand on the deal. That's going to be tough to do. So what is he trying to do? Well, this is not any more about specifically selling the deal, but in the words of a lot of Israeli analysts, it's to compensate Israel perhaps uh, for the deal that has been reached. Whether or not it passes through Congress, obviously that's still a big issue here domestically in the United States. But the United States, particularly the Obama administration, now has to convince Israel that it still has its security interests at heart, that it is going to do whatever it can to ensure Israel's security. And that has been the tone that has been coming out of the comments that uh, the defense secretary has been making throughout his trip. He met with Israeli officials, the Minister of Defense, the Prime Minister, but he also went to the northern border between Israel and Lebanon. He toured that front there. Uh, Israel uh, uh, says that Hezbollah has thousands of rockets pointed at northern Israel, uh, and for them, that is, in their argument, uh, Iran with a nuclear weapon would be an existential threat. So the, Israel, the American defense minister really is there to try and, and shore up support from Israel that its security will be taken uh, at very into consideration sure. with this deal. I mean, the president has announced in the past, uh, just recent past, billions of additional uh, aid to uh, Israel to bolster their security. So that's certainly on the table. I want to get your reaction, Eamon, to this Wall Street Journal op-ed. says, a richer Iran will target the Americas, arguing that Iran wants to expand its influence in South America. They've already been doing, though. I mean, we've been seeing some work in, in Argentina, certainly Ecuador, Bolivia. Is this something that, uh, that is uh, important to Iran? It has been for some time now, and one of the critics, uh, one of the criticisms leveled against the Iran nuclear deal is that Iran would get hundreds of billions of dollars from its own frozen assets, plus the potential sale of oil uh, on the global markets. That would give it a lot of money. That money would then be used to funnel uh, activities that are of interest to Iran. Some of those could be considered dangerous or even nefarious, perhaps even terrorist activities in South America. But others would include cultural centers, mosques, uh, humanitarian projects, and also potential potentially economic projects that may be of interest to Iran. So the op-ed that you referenced in the Wall Street Journal tried to highlight the potential risks of Iran having a lot of money and its desire to grow its influence in South America. Yeah, it's interesting about South America, Central America, I mean, Bolivia, Ecuador, Argentina, Venezuela, Cuba. These are countries that are in the headlines often and that we don't often hear about Iran's intentions to support those governments. Hey, Eamon, great to see you. Thanks for being great with me. Great to see you, Jose. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Ayman Mohideen from MSNBC. Thanks for checking out our channel. Subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift and other digital exclusives.